Unfortunately, in the morning, the weather was terrible. I decided to go out anyway and see what I could learn, but all I learned was, when it's wet, avoid the curbs. Soon, though, it dried out and I began once again to pick up speed. What? Brake. Turn it. Clip the apex. Let it run wide. I was feeling pretty good and felt sure that Sabine would be pleased with my progress as well. Oh, he looks a little bit lazy behind the steering wheel. Turn it late. Ah, too soon. Oh, damn it, last. Like he can do everything he's the best driver the world has ever seen. Well, Michael Schumacher from Britain, maybe, but I think he is, isn't. Listen, love, Michael Schumacher doesn't use a diesel, whereas I am using a diesel and time is running out, so I've got to forget about being on the telly and go for it. Start the clock. This really is, I suppose, a bit like golf. Play it once and you're destined to spend the rest of your life fruitlessly chasing perfection. It's a disease I shall call ringworm, and I have it very, very badly. Out the way, I'm much quicker than you now. But that didn't cost too much time. Oh, missed it. I'm sure this corner's flat out. And this is it. Break, and then break after the hill. Damn it. Whoa, God. With 10 miles gone, there'd been no breakdowns, no accidents, so maybe, just maybe... Here we go. Whoa, losing the back a bit in. I looked a bit loud, I lost his ears. Whoa, I don't want to lose mine. I've never felt more alive than I am now. Yes, yes, yes. It's a bit of dust there. Now, first lap, I remember the beeper was going here in the mini carousel. As it is, I've got 30 seconds left, probably another, I don't know, six corners to go. None of which I can remember. From 120 miles an hour. Oh, come on, come on. No, there's the end. There's the end. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I did it! I did it! A 9.59! Sabine!